We're here in uh, beautiful Carson, New Mexico, and uh, beginning of fall, and uh, it's the year 2009. When I first saw the film, um, I, one of my qualifications of what I think good film is, is that something that inspires you, something that even makes you angry and makes you cry, something that makes you so happy, and this film had, had all that. But I think the hardest thing for me was when we got into the dynamics of what happened in my first marriage and how painful that was. And seeing it on screen, it just made all of us cry, you know? And, and it's, you know, of course, something we will have to work through, but, but seeing it there again up in your face was, was difficult for me. Um, my youngest son graduated from high school and he's off to college in Las Cruces and having an empty nest, a real empty nest has been uh, kind of painful, I guess you could describe it, you know, and um, Zach's kind of been back and forth for the summer, but he's gonna go down and live with his girlfriend, Kim, in Las Cruces, and they're gonna get some jobs and go back to school. So that's exciting. And my oldest son, Isaiah, is returning from California after being out there for a little over two years. So it'll be nice to have him back. He's a guitarist and musician. I think he'll keep adventuring in the world. That's kind of his nature. My dad felt like he was, um, he was being misportrayed in the film. In, in my experience, observing um, men and just me being a young man myself, I feel, you know, there's almost a tinge of jealousy when it comes to seeing someone else su succeed. And it's not that you want them to fail because um, personally, just coming, using this as an example, when I, when I watch my girlfriend Kimberly perform, I, I think it's so beautiful listening to her and I'm so happy that she's expressing herself. But there's also this, this slight little dark voice inside of me that's like, oh well, you can't let her be better than you, or something like that. And I see that um, in a lot of people where it's it's like they won't they won't accept or embrace the accomplishments of other people because they let this get in the way, and they let it actually. Um, going back to my dad, I felt like he was letting it run his emotions a little bit. I never felt that with my mom. I always felt uh, too much security and love from my mom to ever hate. I got married on Valentine's Day last year to uh, a brilliant artist named Rory Wagner. And, uh, and it's been very difficult because he's, uh, well, been on the verge of going on to the other side. And so I've been um, trying to help him get back to health. And so that's been a big thrust in my life. And, and it's been very difficult. We're, we're not together at this point. So, um, you know, so... So, you know, two crazy artists get together, you can try. We have a powerful love for each other, but it may not be one that can be a marital kind of love. And everything in your life feeds creativity, so I have to keep an open mind that these things that we think are really dark, hard times, which they are, but they can also feed some amazing art. The one thing that always seems to be going smooth is is in the studio, you know, I feel that that's one place I actually have an iota of control, at least with material and with ideas. Here in my mom's studio, always, always an experience coming in here and just, um, just observing what she does and how she works and the art she has displayed. I just, I love it walking in here and just walking around and taking in all of the art and the energy and stuff. I'm working on a large scale sculpture of a coal miner for the Colfax Miners Medical Center in Raton, New Mexico. For every state building that is built, 1% of that budget is allotted to a commission for the artwork in that building. The particular funds for this job is $60,000. Because it's so exciting to, to work this large for one. It's a big challenge for me because uh, in all truthfulness, I can come in here with this small maquette and say, I'm gonna make this nine feet tall. It's kind of a little bit like spinning straw into gold, <laughs> you know. But to me, public art is really important for societies and it uplifts their soul and you could be coming out of your office and have a hard day and inside the, the cement walls and then you come out and there's this piece of art that maybe the sunlight's hitting it a certain way that just touches something inside of you that keeps you going. 
So to me, that's one of the jobs of art is to be out there for people. It's not just because I like to make it. You know, there's been days that I tell my kids, I don't know, I think I should just go get a nine to five job. And, and through the years, I, they've often said, no, mom, don't keep going. We've, we've gone this far. Their father and I were going through the divorce. I think one of the most powerful tools that they had was that expression in the studio. I remember uh, one that Zach drew in particular was, a, was himself lying on a bed, crying so many tears that the bed was floating on a river of tears. And I remember him saying, you know, I feel like this, but he felt, I think, a little bit better by getting it out. Um, so art can do that. I'm happy about where I'm at in the world now. And I mean, there was a, uh, a time when I was a little boy that I was not so happy about the position I was in. And, and I think it's very important for someone to fulfill what they want to do to the fullest is to be happy. They have to have happiness in their life and in themselves to spread it as well. To create is one of the most powerful things a person can do with their lives. Statistics you gave on museums and galleries shocked me. I thought it was that way, like in the 60s and 70s, but I never thought it would still be that way now, which in a sense gave me an inner strength. Like I have succeeded in an art world, which is mostly male dominated. I think our society tends to qualify success as financial success. But I think what Zach said is like, the biggest success is to have inner happiness with what you're doing and the people around you. And um, that certainly happens when I create, whether it's been my kids or um, relationships in my family or in the studio, I think uh, that's, core, that's success, is being happy with what you're doing.